All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years apart, with big differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The Nightmare! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, look at him load up on that right. 
Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body. Again, making a great use of his length in this matchup. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Oh, man, head kick land. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Oh! Massive kick to the head. Just missed on that spinning attack. Three minutes to go. Oh, look at that head snap back as he connects with another uppercut. Not the first time he's landed that weapon tonight. That's his best shot, man. He's so good at it. He's so good at finding it. And when you think you got a beat on the right uppercut, he shifts his weight off to the side and lands it on the left side. What a great understanding of landing that punch. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, big elbow. Kick to the body by Lee. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Right punch is good. The left also flush. First round here. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh! oh, straight right. Oh, big left. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. He's not telegraphing that strike that he hasn't been able to adjust. He has not been able to see them. It's a very tricky punch, especially in the way that he throws it. He throws it at a time when you expect so many different strikes, but it's because he has such a vast knowledge of just finding that strike. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Final seconds of round one. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets on. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. 
Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, nice punch there by Lou. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet, and to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy has managed his kick with so much force. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Ooh, what a punch. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much nice kick. Into the pitch. Nice kick. Nice hammer fist. Anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, feet on the hips here. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the boss. Wow, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Oh, it's like the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Punch over the top. Big head kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Nice one-two there. Immediately gets the underhook. Boy, Ty Trump. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back to it there in lengths. Over and over again, he has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big kick land. Oh, maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. Oh, 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 oh. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night.
go out at the beginning of this round. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at the turnover in that kick. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. Big body keep landing. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his striking. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' minds. Beautiful leg kick throw. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, big head kick land. Lee's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. Nice punch land. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful body kick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Beautiful body kick. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Beautiful strike. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Back and forth we go. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Right the elbow, the body oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy? I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this, put a smile on my face. No! He's a He's a oh! Back to the feet. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Straight punch land. There's that head kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Leg kick is there. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. And he landed the right hand there. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. You got to check these low leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just missed with the elbow there. Right hand on point. 
Straight right hand, no good. Got the single collar tie. Oh man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Leg kick. Good punch land. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. But not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Tried to go to the body, but unable to. Movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. Back to the feet now. He blocks the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful hand skills here, the right then the left. Oh, massive knee to the head. Oh, he's over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he's going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Nice straight punch. somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. He's the number one heavyweight in the world. A guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very